What's up, YouTube? I'm going to go over aquatic fragrances and some of the best ones. So first of all, how do we make a fragrance aquatic? Well, there's so many ways. Like, first of all, one thing people do a lot now is they use a lot of fruits and vegetable notes. They give a very watery feel. And, like, Polo Blue has that cucumber note, almost like succulent, watery cucumber that kind of gives it that feel. So I think, honestly, cucumber, in my opinion, I think is you played out. I, I think there's plenty of better ingredients to get aquatics than that, but... They also use ozone, too. It gives kind of an airy, oceanic feel. And then sometimes, they, you know, like the cool waters use ocean water. And they actually make a very watery feel to the cologne. You know, some of them have more of a freshwater feel, almost like a swimming pool. Like the original, in my opinion, has that almost like a swimming pool vibe. Like you walked inside of a manatorium. Whereas, you know, some of the flankers that they have have more of a salty vibe, like the Sea Sense and Sun. And, you know, it's a very simple, fresh kind of smell. Not much going on there. You know, you get some lavender and you get some woodsy notes and some patchouli. But, you know, and then the musk kind of kicks in and it keeps that watery feel. Whereas, then you get scents like Kenzo Pearl. Absolute opposite. This is more like a rainforest in terms of ingredients. I mean, there is a little bit of everything in this one. And they put spices into a matrix. And the juniper berries and the orris root and the peach and jasmine, caraway, lily of the valley, and rose had to be perfected in order to get an aquatic smell out of them. But they took these ingredients and made you smell something that smells very watery and earthy and very fresh and invigorating at the same time. And Kenzo House really puts a lot of ingredients together. They don't, they don't always look like the best scent pyramid, but they end up working. I mean, in this one, they really have a very nice aquatic going. And it's not like you have heavy seawater notes and like an air freshener soapy feel. This one really does a good job for what it is. And... Also, Vilgari Agva. Now, that one, they get aquatic because they have some seaweed in it, and then they also have some mineral amber. And the mineral amber gives a little bit of a salty feel, just enough. Almost like, you know, the minerals and seawater. And, you know, they have some woodsy notes in there, too. In that case, I think the wood almost makes it smell like driftwood. So, you know, that's definitely a really nice one. And Lodi Isi by Issey Miyake, uses very aromatic ingredients. And in this one, a lot of the ingredients fight each other and work together at the same time. It's a very fresh kind of smell. And it's definitely a different aquatic. It kind of takes a different face from Aqua Digio, even though it has kind of the same woodsy and sour vibe that they both have at certain times. You know, Issey Miyake is a little bit stronger. And it has a little more spice and it has more of a savory feel to it. Like, Isimiyaki is purely an oriental fragrance. I mean, there's a lot of very exotic ingredients, and it definitely has a good bit of warmth in it. So that's one thing about it. And, you know, you get some vetiver along with the musk and the sandalwood and the cedar in the base in this one. And all the spices and the ginger in the middle notes that start to come out. And this one is... Yeah, you know, it's not always the sweetest scent, but it really has a unique kind of smell. Whereas Aqua Digio kind of has that ozonic feel. You know, you have the Mediterranean air and some seawater, and they use different fruits other than citrus. In that case, they use persimmon and peach. And, you know, you add some spices into the mix and add just a little bit of wood and warm it up with musk and then you have very versatile smell but you know a lot of times that ozonic feel it tends to be very common in scents and Issey Miyake you know, like Kenzo he's used a lot of different ingredients without using a water note so his scent doesn't have that smell like a hand sanitizer that some aquatics can and you know some aquatic fragrances have very earthy feel by using outdoorsy ingredients so maybe some green and air accord and some others specifically use water and they specifically use straight water like cool water and they have very synthetic kind of smell whereas others have this much more outdoorsy feel like 
I mean, Kenzo uses a lot of different spices. And when you use certain fruity notes and certain florals and stuff just to soothe it and make it almost feel like fresh, very refreshing, like a ga cup of Gatorade. I mean, that's one way that they make a lot of aquatics. Whereas the better brands use lots of different ingredients and they keep it from smelling too much like water. They keep it complex and they don't have something that's going to be all fizzy. And so basically, a lot of times aquatics don't last very long. But, you know, Isimiyaki and Kenzo and Vulgari Agva are the exceptions to this. So they definitely are good sense to buy. And thanks.